welcome back to the multi magic channel as you know we have our interns with us and this session will be the sprint 3 grooming today we'll go over the tasks each intern will be tackling in sprint 3 breaking it down by team and the modules before we dive in i want to give a quick shout out to everyone for their hard work in the sprint 2 the progress and the dedication shown by each of you were totally impressive and it and it's exciting to see how your skills are developing so let's keep up the movement and build on these successes as we move forward so without any delay now let's discuss the task for sprint 3 so in this video we are going to discuss about the acm module that is asset customization module asset customization module Okay, so the task one for ACM team is they have to add another tab with the name image. That is the task one. Coming to the task two, okay, now they had they have added the image tab. What they have to do is they have to add a simple box where user should be able to drop an image drop an image into this box okay <coughs> i'm sorry or else if any user clicked on clicked inside this box then he should be able to get the pop up to select an image okay so the box size should be exactly with the box of uh, box size of the clip art which is there inside the clip art okay now as we know we have been working on this clip art like icon in the background here we are going to keep image and the background in the, under that we will keep uh, inside the image tab we will keep the controls which are respective to image inside the background we are going to keep the controls which are respective to the background okay so coming to the task 3 in this task 3 so inside the image tab we are going to add a size control i mean user selected an image okay let us see let us assume that user selected an image okay so now by increasing or decreasing this uh, with the slider i mean moving it to the forward or moving it backward so the size of the image should be modifying i mean uh, should be uh, modified to smaller or larger okay but initially this is the constant size which we are going to keep this is the default size which we are going to keep maybe let us assume that this slider is of uh, 0 to 100 then 50 is the default value default size of the image okay coming to the task 4 in this task 4 we are going to tackle the background control of the image suppose user has a image uh, let us assume that he has some small icon or whatever it is okay behind the scenes he have a solid color uh, let us assume that he have a solid background a solid background means a single color background kind of okay let me take some time to draw this okay so he have a background like this okay for the image if user clicked on this radio button that is make it transparent this solid color should be uh, vanished i mean uh, it should we should make that image as transparent image okay so that is that is the control which we are focusing on task 4 coming to the task 5 what they are going to do is they are going to add another control that is type of background whether the background type should be the color or gradient or image okay so if user chooses color then we should show a small uh, text that is color and we should show a kind of color picker okay this this uh, <coughs> this control should also be implemented in the clip art feature too in previous print what we have done is for the background 
color of the clip part or the preview area this one what we have implemented is <coughs> we have just added a simple color that's all but now in this time we want to add gradient and image okay so that user should be able to keep uh, the whole background of this small div as a color or a gradient or image on that he can keep whatever the icon he wants to keep okay so coming to the task 6 this is the ui of the gradient so user should be able to add, select two colors and he should be able to give the uh, angle with which gradient should perform in the same way this also should be done in clip part uh, component clip part feature too and coming to the task 7 here we have uh, we can also select image as a background so if user clicked on this image we should be able to show the uh, drop your image or click on this to select an image kind of and if user selected that that image should be displayed here as a background okay now in the same way this should also be done to clip art <coughs> okay for these controls <coughs> excuse me for these controls they can check the document they can check the document and they can check they can look for toggle toggle buttons toggle buttons toggle buttons are similar to this okay yeah coming to the task 8 we are going to add another very interesting control that is effect in effect we have three types of effects okay that is drop shadow cast shadow and score the same thing we will also add the same control for clip part 2 okay now let me show you what do we mean by drop shadow cast shadow and effect score okay so effect none suppose user selected an icon that is uh, uh, simply 4k written as 4k and the effect of that is none so it should be it should look like this so if effect is drop shadow you should be able to understand the difference here right so there is a small shadow behind the scenes here there is a small shadow and it looks elevated more elevated right so that is a second effect which they want to add and the third effect which they want to add is cache shadow this is a box of the icon okay so inside this box we if you see here here they are they are adding some shadow right like uh, image is kind of flowing or moving in the upward direction top top left direction uh, at that time we will get some effects right uh, we have been watching in many cartoon movies that if uh, if someone throws a ball they'll show some fire effect kind of this is something like that okay and coming to this effect score uh, the top the upper half of the image should be uh, I mean we should add a little overlay of black okay or uh, with with opacity of with opacity very less okay in the same way we have to add this for image feature too this is for clip art and this is for image feature and here the FX is very uh, pretty similar effect none effect drop shadow effect cast shadow effect score okay so this is a task 8 and 9 okay and coming to the task 10 here they should add a small uh, control like this if user clicked on this control uh, he should be able to get some uh, chips maybe android and ios okay if user selected android so we'll create a small chip and we'll add android okay if user also selected ios we'll create a small i mean let me extend this uh, will create another small chip that is ios with cross mark okay if user wants to uh, remove this android he should be able to click on this cross mark in such a way that android chip will be uh, removed from the search bar okay so coming to this what did what did i have written this is task 10 okay so this is task 10 so you can also check multiple tags in the document so please refer to the document for that uh, ui design so coming to the task 11 we have to add a small button here 
and uh, inside the button we should add the text generate and for the styling of button please check for button in the documentation and inside that we have a type of animated scale button so if you check that documentation you have to use that type of button and you have to keep it here okay so yeah uh, till now we have uh, discussed about the till task level so these are the tasks they are going to perform in uh, sprint 3 and uh, yeah that's all for the video thank you so much all the very best happy coding and happy learning bye bye